Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Today, I've got a couple generals that I want to recruit, but before I do that, I need to rest up back at the fortress here. I'm not going to go all the way back to Zuzhou, though. Just a quick heal. That'll be good enough, and I'll be actually be able to use my tactics while fighting some of the generals. I have the TP to spare. Normally, I usually don't like to do that. Like, if I'm just going through the cave, like on my first trip, because I need to save all the TP that I've got. But for this, it'll work. Okay, we didn't run into a battle in Chapter 1 territory there, so we're good to go back into the cave. This time, I want to go around to the back side of this floor. And fight some more enemies while we're here. Usually I can find at least one of the two generals that I want to recruit as I'm going through the cave. And the other one just takes a while to find whichever one that ends up being, however that works out. But at least we can get through all of this pretty quickly. But yeah, any of the paths that I'm not taking around here either lead to dead ends or they take you to the gold key, but less efficiently is the path that I took on the right there. Well, here's one of them now! Ha Ziong! All right. So, let's see. I'm not really worried about the rebel forces here. So, let's see. With Ha Ziong, yeah, he's got way more strength than they do. So, I'm just going to have everyone go after him. I don't think I need to use any special tactics for this one. But, uh, let's see, with the Rebel Forces, yeah, don't even bother knocking them below 100 soldiers. Han Ziong would probably deal more damage than the three of them combined. Now, this guy isn't that extraordinary. But I do want to have him just because his strength is really good at this point. But it's he's only really going to be useful for the remainder of the chapter. So he doesn't have that much longevity. If you wanted to skip someone, skipping him would probably be the way to go. But uh, the other guy that I want to recruit is pretty important. They'll have much more usefulness in the long run. All right, got him below 100 before he attacked us this time around. Yeah, that is one nice thing about Guan Ping. He's got pretty good agility uh, at 140. Lu Feng has 120, and everyone else has considerably less than that. But as long as we're faster than the Rebel Forces, that'll be fine. But alright, so we got Han Ziong defeated here. Let's see if he'll join us. Hey, hey! He joined for free! Very nice. Okay, so now, yeah, I want Huo Hu to, er, no, I want, uh, Ha Ziong to replace Yang Jin there, because, yeah, J Yang Jin is the least amount of strength of my party members. Yeah, get all that over to Ha Ziong there, and I still do, I think I need to still buy another leather armor eventually. I forget who, uh, ah, Guan Ping. Actually, though, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the robe on Guan Ping. Okay, so for my soldiers here, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, Ha Ziong, let's put him up top there. And then put Yang Jin in the seventh slot so we don't have the chest problem. Okay, I think we're good to move along then. So those steps you just saw there, they also lead to the gold key. But it would take slightly longer than the ones on the right that I took. This floor and the one below it are a bit symmetrical. 
But yeah, there's no reason to go there. There is a reason to keep going this way, if I can ever get to the end of this part. Well, I found one of the generals pretty easily, so I will count my blessings there. But there's still one more that I need to find, and this is about the only point in the game where food is a remote concern for me. Hey, we gained a level after this battle. What do we got now, then? We learned Shui Jian there, which is uh, basically the same thing as Wu Jian, but for water tactics. So this one isn't quite as useful, though I do use it every now and then in certain situations. Uh, let me see with Hu Hu. Yeah, he's got that. So we're good to go there on that. Okay, so... Oh yeah, my soldiers. Since, uh, yeah, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu get, got some more, but they're still behind everyone else. So we'll just leave that alone then. And for making it all the way back here, we pick up money. The exact amount is a bit randomized, kind of like the early Dragon Quest games, but it's usually about a thousand coins. One of the nice things about this game is that you win a lot of food from storyline battles, so you almost never have to really worry about it. But this is like the only time where I've actually ran out of food, just because finding a very specific general this early in a chapter can take a while sometimes. But as long as I have at least like a thousand rations left, that should be good enough. That's not something I calculated, it's just totally an arbitrary number that is nice and round to me. Okay, so we're back at the entrance here, and now, yeah, now we need to find the other general there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around back and forth here until I find what I'm looking for. So I'll be right back. Alright, there's a general I'm looking for, Liru. If I recall correctly, yeah, he has Yehuo. So, let's see. Well, Han Xiong has 126 agility, so Guan Ping is still my fastest buffer. Uh, oh, right, we uh, we don't have Wu Jian. Usually I have that when I'm fighting him, but uh, I guess I leveled up a little bit quicker than I usually do. That's okay, we've got plenty of soldiers to be able to handle the damage. But, yeah, if you still had it, I would use it against him. And you definitely want to take him out first. Thank you for casting a useless tactic. Whatever works for you. We're not even in a castle. We're in a cave. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, let's just keep going. Everyone at the Rue there. And by the way, while I was running around looking for Liru, I was running from all the battles, so that way yeah, I don't become overleveled or have a lot more money than I otherwise would. So, but I do want to hold on to my money because, uh, yeah, there's going to be more equipment to buy, not just now, but uh, later in the chapter eventually. I still want to get one more leather armor, but that'll be good. And I might still buy another steed, just to re replace the one that I've got if I need to, or I just might buy one anyway. But uh, okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, we can just go all out now. Yeah, unfortunately only the leader can choose to go all out there. All right, got him. And hopefully this will all work out. This is also why I went to defeat Lu Bu before going into the cave so that Li Ru would be available to encounter. Hey, all right, sounds like a deal. More party members with Li Ru, and he will replace 
Huo Hu for a long time. We're not going to find a better tactician for quite some time. But all right, so we got all that taken care of there. But what defenses do they have set up to the west at Luyang Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.